Hashtag JDM. I call it the EDM. What's the difference? Japs made it. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. And welcome to a Dayton Dissect of Absolute Drift. So you do have events that you can uh, try and complete, but the events are really part of the free roam world, which is really the, the highlight of the game and features a lot more challenges in itself. So this is the original car you get. I have reset my data and I plan to uh, just replay through it. So I'm gonna be pink. Oh, storyline. Hello, my child. You're here to become a drifting master. Drifting is the art of sliding sideways. Let me give you some background to drifting. Drifting was created in Japan by a race car driver who had too much sake during lunchtime, so he couldn't drive in a straight line. Becoming a drifting master will require patience and determination. The next time we see each other, you will be a drifting master. Now go forth and hit walls. I mean drift. That's right. I'll probably hit a lot of walls, but that's okay. I got my trusty controller. Uh... The keyboard controls are okay. Nothing fantastic, as usual, for a game like this. The controller feels a lot better. There we go. Smash blocks. Hey now, you're a block smasher. You got six left. Don't hit walls. If you want to be pro, don't hit any walls. Oh yeah! Now we're doing the thing. <laughs> Hooray! That's fun. Clipping point. Oh, I clipped the point. Oh! 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 <laughs> I wish we didn't hit that block, but that's alright. Oh, no! We hit the tires! What does it mean? Ah, <laughs> oh, now they're gonna fuck me up when I come back around. You see what I'm talking about. Ooh, a little too much gas. Uh, Beano. Beano, please! It's a fart joke. You like fart jokes. Oh shit. Do it, do it, do it! Do it! Oh! <laughs> I'll take it. I don't think we're gonna be in the bottom 15% anymore. They're gonna love us! Fuck. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Yeah! Yeah! No! No! Too much gas. Too much gas. Flip it around. We'll do the thing. Oh! I rather like the, the minimalist aesthetic to this game. I'll fucking back it through. Go ahead. <laughs> oh! They're like, you want to be on the global scoreboard, don't you? And I'm like, I assume I'll get on the global scoreboard by doing leech shit out in the world. I could be the best drifter ever. Oh, too much, too much spinning. All right. Let's hit the jump. Hit the jump, kid. Way not over the plane. <laughs> it's so cool looking, though. Oh! Hashtag tofu on the bottom of the car. This game does have, like, a really Japanese kind of, uh, feel to it. It's minimalist. God damn it! Motherfuck shit! Balls! Crap! And then you listen to some EDM fucking dance tunes and you're like, okay. Wonderful. Everything's fine. We're just gonna try it again. Go! Yeah! We're the wieners! A whole nother world! And I just fucking drop on the ground? <laughs> yeah, good jump! Blah, here you go. That, that's not the best spinning I've ever seen. It's pretty good spinning, but it's not the best I've ever seen. Certainly not. Come on! Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! You fucked it up! <laughs> huh? Alright, yeah! Boosh! <laughs> it's fine. Everything's okay. There's not a person in that car. Don't worry. 
It's just me. I'm controlling it with a controller. Don't you worry. Everything's on under control. Oh yeah, I get another one. Tofu factory. Can I go inside? Spin in the corner. <laughs> I do that when I was a little kid. Oh, oh, no, no. That that's not right either. This is the corner. Way over here. We're still in the corner. Yes. Oh, we're not anymore. That's a pretty big corner. If you ask me. All right. Another mission down, boy. Hit the boost. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fucking sunk it, baby. Oh, I can get a new car. A new car! <laughs> Fuck yeah, super. But I think I'm gonna have to go, uh... Repaint this shit. Boosh! Gimme this shit! Boosh! Oh, come on, bro. That was a super drift. Are you kidding me? See how the tires are all like squibbly and not in a row? That's a fucking drift. Drift! Under the crane! Yeah! That's how we do it, butter. Donut around the digger claw. Digger claw? What are you talking about, bro? Oh, the claw of the digger! Wow! See if we can't keep this shit going. Ooh. Pretty good. Drift between the wall and containers. Yes. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna do it. Totally. Kind of sloppy. Like your mom. <laughs> oh. 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 Was that on my fucking screen? A fly? Or was that like a bird or some shit? <laughs> I think I see it again, so it's just in the game. Donut around the crane. Donut crash into it. Because that'll reset your score. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright. World 3! Time to do the thing! Jump over the building. Yeah! Look at this shit! Oh! Hashtag JDM. I call it EDM. What's the difference? Japs made it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this isn't uh, a Japanese made game. Fun Selector Studios? Are they? Are they? I don't think so. I think they're trying to cash in on some weeaboo bucks. Which is fine. A lot of games do that. Drift between the trains. Donut the lamp. Dude, this car is super. Cool! Alright! Cool, cool! Alright! My dad beats me! Alright! Not, 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 not my real dad! Cool, cool! Alright! Cool, cool! Alright! My dad beats me. All right. Not, 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 not my real dad. Domestic violence is never funny. Zoosh. Dude, fucking see you later, world. And <laughs> then it's gonna drop me out of the air. <laughs> Good job, you have no momentum left. <laughs> Wow! Thanks so much! Do it, do it, do it! <laughs> Damn. Can't believe that worked. Four out of twenty missions. You know what that means. And do it! If I drop down that fucking hole, I'm gonna be so mad. What? No! 
Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh my god, I hate... Yeah, okay. Alrighty then! And now I'm over here. Maha! Jump onto the roof. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! I did! You ass dick! Oh, you gotta have more control when you're in midair. I can't! Don't you see? God, fuck. Fuck shit. Alright, we're there. We made it. Yeah, the tires have to touch the roof, I guess. Oh, fuck, fuck! Ah! <laughs> Wonderful. Ow. Hello again, my child. You are now a drifting master. This may seem like the end, but perhaps it's only the beginning. One day you'll master the art of rally. Credits. That wasn't so bad. Pretty short game. Completed in two hours. And there's my achievement. Master Drifter! So that's... So friends, I thought Absolute Drift was pretty okay. <laughs> and the score reflects that. It is a pretty fun game. Uh, $12 for the price tag may be a bit high. I'm thinking more around like 5 or 6. Uh, but anyways, the controls, I've given an 8 out of 10. It's more due to the nature of the game than the controls themselves. The controls feel really tight. However, having it uh, be top down and your steering remaining constant is really weird when you start to take a turn. It's kind of hard to describe without uh, having experienced it yourself, but it feels just a little wonky, especially if you're raging. Um, <laughs> I've gotten mad at the game and kind of forgotten my bearings at some points, so a couple points off the controls, but still really good. The fun factor for me was a 4 out of 10. A little bit below average. I think it's kind of lackluster. They're just like, I don't know, drift around this thing. And whether you perform it well or not, it's kind of the same thing, no matter what. So the fun factor didn't completely work out for me. But uh, somebody who loves drifting just may uh, try and prove me wrong. So 4 out of 10 for the fun factor. I think it's pretty fair. Um, not quite on the average for me, though. The difficulty, I've given a 3 out of 10. Once again, it doesn't really matter how well you perform the set objectives. There is a global scoreboard, which you can climb to the top of, uh, which I imagine would be exceedingly difficult. However, completing the game is relatively easy to sit down and do in about two hours. And um, once again, yeah, you can perform the stunts as, as poorly as you like, <laughs> basically. And it'll still give you credit. So I don't know. Difficulty's not great out of 3 out of 10. Um, some people may dispute me on that, though, as well. Replayability, I've given an 8 out of 10 because of the global high scoreboard, mostly. It really is fun to try and master. It's an extremely hard game to, to conquer, but once you're able to, it, it's an extremely good feeling that you didn't just have a tutorial holding your hand the whole way. You just had to figure it out yourself. So I, I give big props to the, to the designers for that. The innovation, I've given a 7 out of 10. Uh, I've seen driving games, drifting games, not necessarily top-down before, which is an interesting thought. Uh, it's got a really minimalist aesthetic that I kind of like, although it could be spiced up a bit more. I think uh, 7 out of 10 is a fairly good score for the innovation. On the aesthetic side, we have the graphics, which are at a 7 out of 10. I really like the minimalist aesthetic. Uh, it might go a little bit too minimal for some, uh, and it is 2015, so there are certain things that we've come to expect, such as uh, real-time damage and things like that. It could be stepped up in a lot of ways, but it serves its purpose just fine at a 7 out of 10. The, the music I've given a 9 out of 10. I really like the eight EDM, JDM uh, kind of low-key dance mix. It's just good, good laid-back driving music. It's not as hardcore as something like Initial D, you know? 
so uh, it doesn't pump you up too high, but it's right where it needs to be, I think. The sound effects also serve their purpose, although I do find them a little bit generic. I think it's kind of cool how the sound effects drop out while you're in the air, but uh, it needs to be mixed up just a little bit more. The crashing sounds and the engine sounds are kind of monotonous, even after only a couple hours. So um, I've given the sound effects a 6 out of 10. The story I've given a 1 out of 10. Uh, Buddha pops up, he's like, be a drifting master. And then he pops up, he's like, great, you did it. <laughs> There's your story. 1 out of 10. Level design I've given a 6 out of 10. A lot of it seems kind of ramshackle. Um, like the last two levels are just so spread out. And it's like, well, couldn't you think of a way to fit this together a little better? I guess it's to increase the difficulty or something. But, um, it doesn't really work for me for level design. There are, um, a few good things. I really enjoy how they teach you in the game. They're just like, okay, here's a small obstacle, do it yourself. And then they, they build onto that, which is, of course, the way that it should be done. But a lot of people don't do it that way. So it, it wins a whole bunch of points back on level design. And I've decided to give it a 6 out of 10. So Absolute Drift totals out at a 59 out of 100. It uh, falls into the average range of games as far as I'm concerned. There are a few things that it could be done to bump up the score a little bit. But I think it stands as an average game on its own. So thank you so much to Fun Selector Labs for the review copy. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. This has been Absolute Drift. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.